Today, I'm collecting the rarest vehicles in GTA 5. None of them have been released, they're totally classified, and right now they're top, top secret. You can't buy them, and quite frankly, I don't think you even know they exist. Half of these vehicles come out next year, the other half have literally been made as prototypes, and I don't think they'll ever be released at any point. But what matters is I know where they are in Los Santos, Simeon's got the locations, I'm gonna collect them and be the first person in the universe to drive them. Franklin is, understandably, very excited. How can you not be? These vehicles are beautiful, and I've only seen photos of them. I can't wait to actually drive them. What are you waiting for? Get me the first car. Okay, Simeon, I'll go and get the first vehicle. I'm so excited, guys. These vehicles are literally classified, so whatever you do, don't tell anyone they exist. All right, Franklin, let's get moving. The first vehicle is hiding inside the auto repair store. Let's see what it is. The question is, how do we get inside? I mean, we don't exactly have a vehicle, so they're not gonna open the doors for me. Hello, can someone please open up? Uh, no, they're not gonna open up. Right, in that case, I gotta find a way in myself. And that door, maybe it's unlocked. If it is, I can walk straight inside. Do, 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 do. Hello? Oh, yes, it's open. No way! And wait a second. There it is, guys. That's the first vehicle. That looks insane. Wait a minute. That's a Bugatti. What? How have I got a Bugatti for my first car? Hey, get out of here. Oh, sorry, man. Didn't realize uh, you didn't want me in the store. I'll, I'll, I'll be getting out of here. Don't worry. I'll just be taking taking this car with me. <laughs> All right, let's get this out of here, guys. It's convertible. It's super fast. Oh my goodness. Yo, look how fast I'm going. This is crazy. So this is the Bugatti Mistral. I've never heard of the brand before, but this is coming out next year, guys. And you have seen early bird access of this vehicle on the road. Wow. Hey, let's put on those lights. Yo, they're pretty epic lights. Even the Bugatti lights up. <laughs> That's insane! I'm impressed. Like, seriously impressed. To think Bugatti came up with something like this? It's about time they upgrade their design. I mean, Bugatti's are cool, but they get a bit boring after a while. I mean, have you seen some of the latest vehicles? This, however, this is a nice spice to the mix. And the miniature spoiler behind my head? I like that. And this is what the inside's like. Oh my goodness, have you seen the miles an hour dial? <laughs> that goes up to 500 miles an hour. Hey, let's see if we can get it up there. I'm at 350. Oh my days, wait a second. He's gonna do it. I'm at 450. Come on, Franklin. We can get to 500. Come on. Guys, I've capped out the speed at 450 miles an hour. This actually feels like 450. Let's slow down just to chill out for a second. Okay, this car has to be worth like, I don't know, $20 million. It's not released. It's from Bugatti, like the most expensive car maker in the world. They have the best engines in their vehicles. Did you know that? I mean, some of these vehicles have jet engines inside. Yeah, the stuff that powers planes. And somehow I have ended up driving their flagship vehicle for next year. Right, you know what? I'm gonna get this thing back home in one piece, impress Simeon, and go for the next vehicle. If this is what the first vehicle's like, imagine what the other ones are gonna be like. So, Simeon, I got the first vehicle, the Gatti Mistral 2023. It's a beauty, all right, Simeon. I got a little bit muddy, but uh, nothing a car wash can't fix. Now, tell me, where's the next vehicle? Okay, okay, it's over here. Thanks, Simeon. You're the best. I think I'll drive to this place next time. Going to the desert? That took me forever. I had to take the train, and the trains in this world aren't exactly very comfortable. The next car is in that guy's driveway, and I can see three bodyguards guarding it. Shouldn't be too tricky. Nothing Franklin Clinton can't handle. Oh, these guys, they're going down. I want to see what they're guarding, though. It's gotta cost a lot of money, or else why else would they be guarding it? Let's see. Wait a minute, guys. What car is that? Is that a Rolls Royce? Wait a second, I think it is. They're, they're like the most expensive cars in the universe. Right, in that case, I'm gonna get the Rolls Royce. But first, bup, sorry, buddy. Hey, where do you think I am? Can you see me? I don't think you guys can see me yet. Bup, come on, man. I'll give you three seconds. What? Oh, boy. Now he fell. Okay, well, I didn't even need to shoot you. You're so terrible anyway. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do this. Go get me. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's so bad at running. Whoopsie, my finger slipped. Well, that was super duper easy. They're the worst guards in the universe. Sorry, mister. Really didn't mean to, uh, to do that. Just wrong profession. <laughs> Nothing personal. But wait a minute. Are we sure this is a Rolls Royce? This is really strange. Guys, are you looking at this? It is a Rolls Royce. It's got the logo, but this is a totally off-road vehicle. Look at those tires. They're beefy. They're meant for, like, deserts and rocks and climbing over things. But it's got the body of a Rolls Royce? What? That's crazy. Look at that. So these vehicles are meant for, like, total luxury. You're meant to, like, chauffeur people around celebrities, prime ministers, presidents, you know, really important people. And uh, now they've just suddenly made this off-road. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. I love the yellow lights in the front. All right, you know what? Let's
let's just skip around the bush and get inside. I want to see what this looks like on the inside. Now this thing actually drives. It's got a pretty good stereo system. The bass is heavy on this. And the seats, uh, what, are, what are they? Are they covered in cling film or something like that? Really shiny, bro. <laughs> Who decides to do seats like that? Uh, you know what? None of my business. This is still a pretty cool vehicle. The inside isn't too impressive, but the outside, that's where things get impressive. So this is a Rolls-Royce 6x6 concept vehicle. Is it on the market yet? No. Will it ever be? I hope it is. I mean, would you want to buy something like this if you had 5 million bucks lying around somewhere? Because that's how much it's going to cost you. This is seriously expensive. I want to see how good it does off-road, though. Let's just jump over this hill. Whoop. Okay. Do a little jump. Whoa! Nice! And then land it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That suspension is really good. This car barely even scratched itself. It is shaking a little bit, though. I'm kind of nervous. This vehicle has some good vibrations going as we drive this. <laughs> Are you seeing that, dude? It actually feels like it's got to explode or something. All right, let's do another bit of off-road. I'm going to go straight up this cliff. Oh, yeah. Bet you guys weren't expecting that. Oh, 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 oh. nice little cartwheel. And we've landed it again. Back on the road. Still not a single scratch. Wait a second. That's the guy in the car. I want to pump into that guy. <laughs> hey, come back here, mister. I want to crash into your car. I mean, this is a Rolls Royce. It's not exactly meant for crashing. But did you see the front of this? Velociraptor. <laughs> hey, mister. Where do you think you're going to? Bam. Oh, my goodness. I smashed his window. <laughs> Look at me go. This is a boss compared to this guy. I hope you're paying close attention, by the way. Because at the end of this, I really, really would like you to comment which vehicle is your favorite. It's going to be so hard to decide. And I want to make a vote, too. I mean, I need to pick a favorite car out of all of these. And right now, this one's kind of winning. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going to? <laughs> I haven't finished with you, buddy. Get him off the road. So far, we've taken cars from next year. And now we've taken cars which will never, ever, ever be released. Like this one. I really wish. It does get released though. It looks awesome. Oh well, boy. Okay. 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 That was an accident, but I still landed it. And check it out, guys. Not a single smashed window. Now that's good for GTA 5. So, Simeon, look what I got for you. The Rolls Royce Velociraptor. Can you make this and like throw it on the market? I would love to buy one of these eventually. And I'm sure you guys would love to drive one. That's huge. I just realized how big that is. Look, check it out, guys. Look at look at this Bugatti. That's like half the height. If that. This is a huge car. It's so buff. Way bigger than it looked when I was driving it. Jeez. All right, Simeon, just tell me. Where's the next vehicle? You gotta be quick with this one. Don't screw it up. I hate it when he tells me this, that I gotta rush. Oh, we gotta go to a petrol station. Well, that explains the rush, but luckily for us, we arrived just in time. Is that the car you wanted? I think it is. That looks like a unique kind of vehicle. And check it out, guys. The number plate says N-A. A-K-A. -A. Nah. <laughs> is this what I think it is? This is the Pagani Utopia from 2023. Wow. Oh my days. I am literally gobsmacked. This is crazy. This is the Pagani Utopia. Comes out next year. It is one beautiful car. There's no cars like this on the market. Just, just get inside. The guy, who, whoever owns this, is clearly in that store and I don't want to meet him. So just get out of here, frankly. Go, 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 go. This is beautiful. Okay, I actually can't believe in driving this, guys. This is from one of like, the, the best brands of vehicles ever. They hardly release vehicles, but when they do, they are insane. I have driven almost every single car from Bugatti. They do some of the nicest cars you're ever going to see. And this one is no exception. It's got one of the craziest detailed rooftops with three different windows. And it looks like something from the past, but it's really not. They're bringing back the past into the future. Look at that spoiler with the quad exhaust wrapped up in one circle. And let's not forget, guys, this is a seriously fast car. Not as fast as the Bugatti, but it's still really, really fast. The good thing about this is that even at the top speed, you can control this like it's the slowest car in GTA 5. Like, nothing is gonna make you crash this car, unless maybe you're blind. Even then, I'm sure there's cruise control. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me show you guys the interior. Oh, wow. They have not skimped out on the interior. This is amazing. <laughs> you can see a 3D model display of the entire vehicle, sort of like Iron Man. Whenever there's a bump or a crash in this car, you get to know where that is. And you got all these dials. I don't know what these dials mean. There's some things for the temperature. Doesn't quite matter. Speed, that matters. It goes up to 300 miles an hour. And and uh, it's two-seater. There's the engine. One of the best ones in the industry. I love these seats. And every single time I accelerate, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Fire comes out the 
exhaust. That That's just, oh, oh beautiful. All right, let me do a little 360 spin of this as I drive around. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. This is just, this is beautiful. I don't exactly know how much money this is going to go for, but if I had to make a guess, it would probably go for at least a million bucks. And I don't even know if they're going to make many of these. This might be an exclusive car, which they only make like 10 versions of. And if that's the case, this is going to be worth even more than a million dollars. I can tell you that much. I'm loving this video. I mean, I've collected some crazy cars in the past from like rare swap vehicles to rare police vehicles, secret army vehicles, but this is where it's at. This is literally just the best supercars you can get. No, actually, you can't even get in GTA 5. All right, let's just back this up, back this up. Emergency brake clearly is not as good as I expected, but Simeon, I got the Pagani Utopia from 2023. I'm a time travel. Yeah, I'm just going to admit it right now. We are a time travel, ladies and gentlemen. Simeon, tell me where the next vehicle is. I want to keep time traveling. The next car is in this driveway, but be careful, the Mafia own it. Oh boy, the Mafia, I don't like the sound of that. I've had some pretty close encounters with them and they don't exactly accept forgiveness too easily. You don't, you die. Oh, wait, really? That's, that's how it ends? Wait a minute, there's some photographers at the gate? What are they doing? Okay, I can't afford to be taken by any of those guys. If they get a photo of me, the Mafia's gonna be after us. What could they be doing with one of these vehicles, though? And where did they get it from? Right, that's it. I'm breaking in. And this time, no one's gonna see me. I'm gonna climb over this wall. And it's gonna be a walk in the park. All right, over the wall, Franklin. Nice. If we stay close to the edges and sneak around here... Oh, my days, dude. I found some ladies. Okay, right, you know what? I'm just gonna take them out. Perfect. They're both down. Right, let's get moving. I don't see any other Mafia people around here. Nobody in the tower. Fantastic. Keep moving, Franklin. Man, I still can't see the driveway. There it is. No way, guys. Okay, I found the car and I can see there's three bodyguards guarding it. That'll be a walk in the park. I know exactly what I'm doing. We'll take them all out, grab the car and get out of here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's literally no one outside. Timmy, you got to say what I want you to say or else things are going to get ugly. Uh, what does ugly mean? Ah! Boss, why do you do that? Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from that wall. Sounds like uh, something's going on in there. Let's just keep walking. One, two, three guards. Easy peasy. Let's do this. And, and, and this guy. Ah, nice. All right, now we can go. Oh, my days. Wait a second. There's more of them. There's more of them. Okay, I didn't see that. Whoa, wait a minute. Where did you come from? Right, that's it, guys. I'm using a shotgun. Hey, I dare you to try and get me. Yes. Nice. Come on, Franklin. Come on, we can do this. Don't throw a grenade. Whatever you do, we need that car. It must be worth so much money. Hey, come on, buddy. Show yourself. Make it easy for me. How are there this many guards? I didn't see these guys. Nice headshot. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. You suck. How have you not got me yet? Bam. Uh-oh. Wouldn't want to be you in the morning or you either. These guys are so bad. Your boss must be disappointed with you. Nice. Nice. That's got to be everyone, right? Oh, no, there's one guy left. That has to be everyone now. What are you doing? <laughs> you got the wrong guy. What is this guy doing? Oh, wait a minute. Get him, Franklin. Get him. And just like that, every single Mafia man has been dealt with. Oh boy, okay, they're setting back up. Let's get moving. I have got the Devil 16 from this year. Wait a minute, this hasn't even been released yet, guys. Okay, this must come out in literally a few weeks, but I've never seen this car in the market. Wow, it's gotta be worth a ton of money, but let's be honest, I would love this car over a Lamborghini or a Bugatti or even a Ferrari. This is beautiful and it's really fast. And are those the exhaust or are they rockets? Nope, they're definitely exhaust. They look like rockets to me. So this is a Devil 16. It comes out in probably a few weeks time, maybe even a few days. And I am so lucky to be one of the first people to drive this machine. And check out the inside. I love the logo. Yo, that is not your ordinary car logo. That's awesome. That is some Art Deco 1920 style logo. Two-seater. Love the blue interior design. Yeah, this is awesome. And I think it might be electric. I'm not too sure, but it's super fast. That acceleration is insane. I mean, we're whizzing down the streets. This has to be at least as fast as that Bugatti. This is crazy. Before you ask, I have no idea why it's called the Devil 16. Quite frankly, I didn't even know there was a car company called Devil. Like, that, that is so random to have a car company called that. There's Ford, Ferrari, Maserati, and then there's Devil. <laughs> 
I mean, it's a pretty good name for a car. I can see why the Mafia would own one of these. They're beautiful. Just like that, I'm back at home with Simeon. Yo, Simeon, this is going to be so difficult to decide which one is the best car. I mean, I've collected three insane vehicles already. How are there more vehicles to go? I didn't realize there were this many classified supercars in GTA 5. Right, this bad boy is chilling over here, right next to the Ferrari. And those are some super duper wide doors. Oh, man, I opened every single door and checked this out. That's the boot space. Pretty awesome. These are the other doors. And then round the back, this is where the magic happens. This is the engine. How many cores is that? Like, there's got to be at least, like, 16 cores. This is basically a computer if it was on wheels. What are you doing? Stop looking at my vehicles and get me more! Yes, Simeon, of course. How dare I look and appreciate these vehicles? So wrong for doing that, Simeon. I'll go get you the next one. Earlier this morning, a vehicle came in on a boat. Find me the vehicle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How am I going to find this vehicle here? There's got to be thousands of containers. Right, Franklin, we better get looking. Maybe if we climb up and get on some high ground, That'll give us a better advantage. I'm not opening every single container. I'm gonna try and find a container that may be open. Let's see. What about up here? Can we see anything? Anything in this section? Oh, man. Every single container is closed. This is so not fair. I'm gonna be here forever. I just... I know it. I... Oh, come on. Get on, Franklin. I found a container. And this one's open. No way. Could this be the one? Is the one... <gasps> I can see a car. I can see a car. And it has a Lamborghini logo on it. Guys, this might just be it. This is the Lamborghini. The classified, top secret, unreleased Lamborghini. I have been waiting for this moment all my days. Franklin, jump inside. What have we got here? Okay, it just says Lamborghini. That's pretty cool around the back. The engine sounds powerful. And I love the ceiling. Is that glass? I think it is. All right, let's get this out of here. This is really shiny. Like, professionally cleaned. So, let me see. Are there any clues about this car? Oh, wait a minute, guys. It's a Lamborghini Technica from 2023. Again, a year which hasn't even come yet. If you're watching this next year, you'll have to tell me how much money this car's worth. But as far as Lamborghinis go, this could be anywhere from like $200,000 to $2 million. That is a really mean sounding engine. Are you listening to that? That is crazy. <laughs> it doesn't have an automatic spoiler, so it can't be one of the most expensive Lamborghinis. But that engine, that is a powerful, mean, fierce engine. And not many cars in this universe sound like that. Not even the Bugatti did. This car is fueled with sweat and tears and diesel and petrol. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it's uh, super duper fast. I love the paint job. The design is kind of basic for a Lamborghini, but somehow they pulled it off and made it look really nice. I'm getting Hurricane vibes, maybe so light event door vibes. Let me see, do those doors lift up? No, they don't even lift up. They're just normal side doors. It's kind of like they toned it down a little bit and just kept some very nice features on this right. I still can't tell if that's a window. No, that's not a window. It's like a reflective shield. Interesting. And those speakers? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now my mind is made up. These are seriously good speakers. What's that, guys? I can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying over these speakers. Anyway, enough of the partying. This is a boss and I honestly can't can't wait to see how much money this is worth. Wait a minute, this is fast. This this is way okay. I didn't realize it goes this fast, but this actually feels really fast right now. I can't even cinematic this, and I've already got some air on the smallest jump. Okay, guys, I've capped out the speed. I think this says 350 kilometers an hour, which is slightly slower than the Bugatti. Look at me go! Yo, I want to get another view. I want to see how fast we're going on the road. I can only get this view. It won't show me a bird's eye view. We're going that fast. <laughs> okay, I've had fun with this. Let's get this back to Simeon. Oh, Simeon, check it out. The fifth car in the collection. Lamborghini Technica. That's a pretty cool name. It's an entire new genre of Lamborghinis, just like the Bugatti Mistral. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, th this could be like a, a good value Lamborghini or it could be super duper expensive. Listen to this, by the way. I'm going to scare Simeon so much. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, Simeon, what do you think of that engine? Nothing. All right, that's cool. Uh, you know what, Simeon? Whatever. You got balls of steel, buddy. Now tell me, where is the next vehicle? The very scar of all is at the observatory. Don't let me down. Okay, Simeon, I won't let you down. He told me the rarest car in the entire collection is in the car park of this observatory. Are you ready to see what it is? I 100% am. What kind of supercar are we getting today? Hey, wait a second. Is that a supercar? What is that? I gotta take a closer look. It's a Tesla car. 
concept. It's an exempt number plate, so this isn't even like tracked on the road. This is strange. I've never seen a Tesla like this. Hang on a second. This might have been a concept they made when they first designed the Tesla Cybertruck. Have you seen that Cybertruck, guys? It looks so futuristic and kind of nothing like this. This is pretty cool. Now I know why Simeon said it's so rare. There's only one of these to ever exist. All right, jump inside, Franklin. This is amazing. I actually can't believe this. I am driving the rarest Tesla in the entire universe and the rarest car in the collection. Does Elon Musk even know this car exists? Like, who made this? Where did it come from? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised if you said this came from Mars or something. Like, this is crazy. Let me just see. I want to know if you can buy this car. Nope, I am finding nothing. Some pretty amazing designs of cyber trucks with, like, monster truck wheels and massive reinforced armor, but nothing like this. I challenge you to try and find it on Google. This is so rare. If you do find it, let me know in the comments. I actually want to know what is cool. It's got its own back to this, so you can, like, store things in the back of this vehicle, and uh, I suppose the real Cybertruck actually has a cover you can put over the back, and it's like a metal cover you can drag over it to keep everything protected. But, um, yeah, we don't have that on this, so uh, you can just keep things in the back and keep your fingers crossed they don't fall out. I need to say something right now because the steering and handling on this is way too unpredictable. I am drifting on every single corner, and I'm not even trying to drift. Stop it. Stop it. This is so difficult to steer. All right, look, look at this, guys. Oh, my days. <laughs> this belongs in Fast and Furious, guys. Maybe they built this just for that. Look at me go. Oh, yeah, another little skid. Oh, my days. This is fast. This is seriously fast. Slow it down. Slow it to Franklin. Slow it down. What did I say? Come on. And I just realized there's two monitors on here. So Franklin can watch his sat-nav and watch TV and drive whilst on cruise control because it's a Tesla. It's buff. It's strong. It's impossible to steer. Kind of like a death trap. But do I rate this car? Yes, I do. It's awesome. It's a Tesla concept Cybertruck. I don't know when this was made. I don't know who built this. This might be the only copy you're ever gonna see. And I don't even think you'll find this anywhere else. So, uh, take it in, guys. Take it in. This is a car of total uniqueness. And I would 100% call this a supercar. Did you see how fast he went on those roads? Yeah, this is this is not the slowest vehicle. There's some slower vehicles here. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Anyway, Simeon, where's the next one? This is the second rarest vehicle. It's outside this tower. The owner's in the building. Get it before he comes out. Don't worry. I'll get this before you even know it's gone. I'll be driving this vehicle. It'll be back at Franklin's house and it will still be there like the Doctor Who time box. I'm that quick. Let's see, can I get through this gate? It is the Crestonburg Hotels and Resorts. Hey, they left it unlocked. Oh no, looks like they made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, now you can't blame me for stealing this car. All right, Franklin, let's see. Is it around here? I can see a tire. I can see a vehicle. Cool, and it looks diamond, or is that chrome? It looks beautiful anyway. What have we got here, dude? It's a Mercedes. Nice. They're known for making good cars, and I love the grill at the front of this thing. Wow, okay, this is a seriously cool Mercedes, and it's a concept IAA. Wait a minute, guys. Does this belong to the IAA building? You know, the IAA in GTA 5? You know, those guys. Maybe this vehicle belongs to them. And if it does, it might be some scientific lab project developed to spy on every single vehicle around it on the road. Can you imagine? <laughs> Gotta get inside. Wait a minute. Before we get in, there is a QR code on the back. I kind of want to see what that says. Will it work? There is only one way to find out. I'm going to try my best. Come on. What are you hiding from me, the IAA? What are you hiding? Oh, no, guys. It's not working. I guess we'll never know what it means. But uh, that's okay because this is still a beautiful ride. It's, it's the concept IAA from Mercedes. And look at the roof on this. And you know what I love about cars like this? Is that the entire roof roof is glass. You can see into the whole thing. It's somehow got five seats in this ride. It's stretched out and the inside is seriously luxurious. Look at the screen. Wow. It seems like a pretty good car for the environment too. I mean, I don't know if those stats are good, but they seem to be bragging about it. So maybe it is. It's electric. Barely makes a noise. In fact, this is silent. I actually can't hear this car at all. This is really quiet. Okay. Now I know why the IAA own this. They want to creep up on people they're chasing. I wouldn't know this is coming after me. I'd have bad chance of listening to a hawk fly up behind me. This is crazy. But I love the back of this. Those lights and the grills on the back and both the front makes it look really futuristic. So this is a concept vehicle developed either for the IAA or maybe just for Mercedes. I don't know. It's got pink little air conditioners for those people who like those aesthetics. And check it out, guys. I mean, there's the seats totally leather. This is amazing. Simeon is going to be so impressed. It's not the fastest. I've definitely driven faster ones than this. But as far as vehicles 
vehicles go, this has to be one of the most beautiful cars I've collected. And it's the second rarest. It's Concept. Nothing gets rarer than Concept. A price tag on this would be priceless. It's literally down to what the buyer is willing to pay. The kind of thing you would send to an auction. So, uh, Simeon, we sure are collecting some nice cars. Have you ever thought about what you're gonna do when uh, you you gotta sell these? I mean, you gotta make a lot of money, Simeon. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Of course I've thought about it. I'm going to sell them. Okay, you know, Simeon, no need to play fun and games with me, buddy. Okay, let's just go and get the next ride, Franklin. Simeon clearly is in a bad mood. How can he be in a bad mood when I'm getting cars like this for him? The last car's in this driveway. Don't screw it up. Yeah, oh, Simeon, you think so little of me. Of course I'm not gonna screw this up. I know what I'm doing. All right, let's see. I'm gonna climb over this wall. It's also a diamond car, and it's a Corvette. No way, this is a Chevrolet Corvette 2023 convertible. I recognize this in Malawi. I think I actually saw this car the other day. It's not exactly the rarest, but it definitely isn't released on the market yet. This isn't going to come out for at least several more months, guys, and Corvettes just look beautiful. As I drive it out of here, I can't wait to see how fast this goes. Corvettes are, like, so underrated. They're worth a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but nowhere near as much as a Lamborghini or a Bugatti or maybe even a McLaren. If I had to choose between a Lamborghini or this, I would 100% go Corvette. If I had to make a guess, I reckon this is gonna go for sale for less than $100,000. But I could be wrong. Who knows? 2023 is gonna be a good year for Corvette. If the engines are like this in their cars, bro, this is gonna take off like wildfire. The inside, red leather design, love the computer screen, and the outside with the diamond chrome look. It's beautiful. And it's convertible. Does it ever get better than that? I don't think it does. You can enjoy a Sunday drive in the sun, chill out, relax, enjoy the day, and you can talk to people whilst you drive. This is beautiful, and what an amazing collection we got. Hey, Simeon, that's gotta be all the supercars, right? I've collected so many! That's the lot of them! It actually is. I got every single one of them! So the question is, which one is your favorite? Is it the Tesla Concept Cybertruck? The Lamborghini Technica? Is it the Pagani Utopia? The Rolls Royce 6x6? The Bugatti Mistral? Wow, I'm gonna miss that one. The Devil 16? Or the Concept IAA Mercedes? Or it could be the Corvette. It could be any of them, to be honest. But, Simeon, you owe me some money, so pay up. I just got $25 million for getting all these cars. But my favorite is 100% the Devil. That is such a beautiful car. And then it's probably the Rolls Royce. Then the IAA car. And then probably the Corvettes. And then the other ones. Oh, they're just beautiful. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash like and help us get to 6 million subscribers by Christmas. And if you want to get some merchandise, click the link in the description below. We just released some brand new products, and I think you're going to love it. But until next time, thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and stay awesome.